All right, how's it going guys? Um, another chill kind of style video, but I wanted to talk about this really cool tool. It's using, that basically makes using gobos very easy. If you haven't heard of gobos, it's actually something I've done maybe three or four times on this channel um, as of recently. It's, it's a lighting style I fall in love with, but it's essentially you have a light and then you put something in front of that light to create shadows. That's essentially a gobo. Um, so I've done it a couple times, but now there's a tool for it. Um, you can get it on Blender Marker right now. If you So by the end of this video, if you do decide you want to buy it, um, there is an affiliate link in the description that will also help support the channel. Uh, with that being said, let me show you how this thing works. I think it's really cool. Um, I'll, I'm using it already for my own stuff. So it is. it uses the um, asset browser. So it's an asset browser product. It's not actually an add-on. So we're going to go here to the asset browser, and I'm not going to go through how to install it. It's very, very easy to install. You don't need any like special stuff. So I'm gonna go here and find the Gobos light textures and you could have to get this drop down has all of these. So let me just give you a quick demo on how to do how this works. So you'll be in cycles, which this is a cycles only thing. Um, if you remember from my tutorials doing this, it's only cycles. So say we go to the leaves one, we get some of these palm trees. So you just drag and drop just like that. Then you have a point light. So I'm just gonna make it smaller. And I'm gonna hit G and move it up because the sun is always slanted. We're gonna slant it. And then now that we have this, we'll go in and actually edit this guy, bring up that radius, and of course, make it a lot brighter. But now you have these gobos. Um, this isn't the best environment to show you how it works, um, but this is a really cool demo. I'll show you one more, then we'll actually use it in a scene. I'll also give you my, my full opinion on this thing. Um, so let's see, Caustic is pretty nuts. This one's pretty cool. You can do this with textures, of course, if you've seen the Polyfior tutorial, uh, but I am all about finding tools that save you time. And if you're gonna do this anyway, this will save you some time. And then you can bring that radius up a little bit. Um, there you go, now you have Caustics. There are animated ones. Um, here's a video I showed this is using the anime. They have um, animated leaves right here. So they have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 13. Um, we have windows, all that fun stuff. But let's go ahead and show you how I used it in my own scene. So this is a scene I created, got some models, working on just showcasing some more materials. Um, so I created this scene and if I just take out the animated leaves texture, this is what we're left with. And actually I wanna show you a really cool trick if you do get this add-on the best way to use it. So I'm using one of the animated leaves textures so you can see we have this uh, camera coming down just like that using one of the gobos. And then of course it animates, it's 10 second long loop. If you go into the files, you can see it's like a 10 second long video. And then I put it here, but this is still ugly. The shape of the gobo isn't ugly, but the lighting is just kind of ugly. Well, I realized you need to have supporting lighting when you're using these types of things. And so what I did was I got the sky texture with a sun intensity of zero and a strength of 0.2. And voila, now it looks beautiful and filled out because we have this whole sky texture. So if you're gonna use these gobos, use them with supporting lighting. Otherwise, your shadows are just gonna be black and ugly and just, it's just not good. Um, but there you go, that's how it uses. It's, they're incredibly useful. Um, I think a couple of the textures are a little impractical, and I found using the window ones kind of difficult. But those are like nitpicking things. If we go back to my scene here, we'll just use it a couple, um, like the abstract ones I found to be the most versatile, just because when you blur it, it really doesn't matter what the shape is, you're just getting light variation, which is what I like to use it for. Just getting some variation in my light and my color. So just to showcase what I just talked about, say I wanna use this light and we'll do it up to 8,000 on the strength. Let's go ahead and get that radius up. And then it's like, all right, cool, it's fine. Maybe we'll give it 15,000 on the light. It's like, all right, cool, what do we do now? Well, we need to have some supporting lighting. So we'll go here to your world, go over here to your uh, sky texture, buh, 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 right there, and turn sun intensity all the way down and strength 0.2. And look at that. Now we have this whole thing. And then also if you wanna add more realism, go to your light settings, just kinda of go up here, click on the color, get your color picker and like say, steal that one. There you go. And then bring your light all the way to bright. And there you go, now you're kind of helping it out. 
Um, but that's kind of a quick look through of the Gobos. It's not a very complicated to get your mind around. That's probably why this review is very quick. But um, it's very simple. Just put a Gobo in, kind of blur it a little bit, give it some some lighting. Like these swirly ones are very interesting to me. I've actually, I haven't actually used them, so we'll get a little live reaction here for these swirlies. Um, kind of looks like the Pepsi logo. We'll do that. Give it some brightness, blur it a little bit, and maybe get that spot size to be bigger. Look at that, look how cool it is. Um, so that's the Gobo's light texture tool. So there you go, that's my review of the Gobo light add-on, not add-on, sorry, Gobo light tool. And it's very cool, again, again, if you wanna get it, there's an affiliate link in the, in the description, kinda of help the channel here. But yeah, with this scene here, it did an amazing job, animated the leaves, made it look just a little bit more real than it was. Uh, give it two thumbs up. It's a great tool. Uh, love to see it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.